Hello friends, as you all know, LIGO India is going to come up in Maharashtra. But you must be wondering that when LIGO Hanford and LIGO Livingston are already operating from the United States, why do we need LIGO India? I will discuss the importance of LIGO India in the next slide. As you can see here, we can see a huge green patch in this slide. This green patch is called the area of localization of LIGO Hanford and LIGO Livingston. What this means is that uh, when these two observatories did a gravitational wave, its source can lie anywhere in this green patch. The area of this green patch is 3,200 times the size of the moon. The moon is also shown here for reference. <coughs> now, when LIGO India starts operating, the area of localization will reduce to this small yellow patch, which means that when LIGO Hanford, LIGO Livingston and LIGO India together detect gravitational wave, they can be sure that its source lies only in this small yellow patch and not in this huge green patch. Thus LIGO India will help in decreasing the area of localization 100 times because as you can see here, the small yellow patch is just 32 times the size of the moon. And that is why uh, LIGO India is very important in enhancing our ongoing efforts to know more about gravitational waves. The poster also explains electromagnetic counterparts of gravitational wave sources. Now, when two neutron stars merge, they not just produce gravitational waves, but they also produced what is called a short gamma ray burst. I will explain what happens during a binary neutron star merger through the help of this video. The video that you are going to see will explain what happens over the course of nine days after a neutron star merger. You can see two neutron stars here, which are merging. The pale arcs that you see, these arcs are nothing but a representation of gravitational waves. This whole video is nothing but an artistic implement, uh, an artistic impression of binary neutron star merger. Now, as the two neutron stars merge into a black hole, you can see jets coming out. These jets move very close to the speed of light. They are called relativistic jets. And next, you see an expanding debris of uh, expanding debris from the kilonova explosion. When two binary neutron stars merge, the explosion that results is called a kilonova, and you can see the debris expanding from this cloud. <coughs> Finally, what you see is the X-rays that are emerging from this explosion. Thus, you can see that. Uh, the binary neutron star merger not only gives rise to gravitational waves, but also its electromagnetic counterparts in the form of gamma ray bursts and X-rays. So I hope that uh, you got some information from this poster and you and this poster made you curious to know more about gravitational waves. Thank you.